Hi there, John McCarthy here, Head Golf Pro here at the Lakes, and uh, just want to talk today about proper etiquette on the driving range as it relates to the proper divot pattern. Now, you may have noticed here recently at the lakes a new sign that's located in the center of the driving range as you walk up that says proper divot pattern and has a couple of examples, one being correct and one being incorrect. So we're going to talk a little bit about this proper divot pattern and why it's important while you're practicing here on the driving range to help uh, maintain the turf here and preserve the turf as best you can by using the, the proper divot pattern. So there's a couple different ways that people will take divots when they're here on the driving range. And a few of them are incorrect and they, they take longer for those divots to be sanded, seeded, and healed completely back to fresh new turf. So uh, in the colder months in December and January, the grass growth will slow down a little bit. And so we wanna do our best to try and maintain the turf that we have by using the proper divot pattern. So one of the incorrect things that we see is going to be the scattered pattern. And what the scattered pattern is, is when an individual takes a golf ball, they take it over to a nice fresh piece of turf, take a divot, they reach back for the next ball, and they move over, say, two or three inches or behind two or three inches and take another divot. And there's no particular pattern. They're just kind of taking that ball over to a completely new, fresh area of turf and taking a, a new divot and really taking up quite a bit of square footage there just for one practice session. You may have 12 divots, but it's spread out to over two and a half feet in space on the turf. So that's the scattered pattern. That's an incorrect way of doing it because it uses up a lot of turf. The next one that we see is the concentrated pattern. And the concentrated pattern is actually the golfer who's trying to preserve the turf and they believe that they're doing the right thing. However, the concentrated pattern is not what we want to do because it takes up, this is the individual that takes a shot, puts it down, and then uh, the next shot they'll put right up against that first divot and they'll continue to take turf away in a concentrated patch. Uh, minimizing the overall amount of square footage that they're using for those divots. However, that concentrated pattern, once it's sanded and seeded, it does take a little bit longer to fill in that entire area because it's a big concentrated patch. The third one we're gonna talk about today is the correct pattern. And this is actually what we see on the sign that's on the driving range. And this is gonna be the linear divot pattern. The USGA recommends on the driving range in order to preserve that turf, the linear pattern is the best way to go. And so the linear pattern is when you take a golf ball, you take a divot, and then the next shot, the next ball, you will place directly behind that first divot and put it right up against the edge of that divot. And therefore you have nice turf behind the ball, but the divot is directly in front of the ball and take your next shot. And we, you'll continue that process, three, four, five, six, or seven of those, in one straight line. And once you've created a whole line, say 10 to 15 inches long, then you're gonna move over maybe just a couple of inches next to that row and start a completely new line. And you go up to the front, take a divot, and continue that pattern of setting that ball right up against that first divot and moving backwards. Now this linear pattern, it leaves a little bit of turf in between the lines, and uh, that grass will actually grow back more full and more quickly if we do it that way. So when you're here on the driving range, and the nice thing is out here today, we kind of took a line, uh, took a walk down the line here. The sign's been out now for several days, and we're noticing that golfers are starting to do the linear pattern, which is great. So that's what I want to do today, is just encourage all you golfers, uh, good etiquette here on the range to use the linear divot pattern when you're down here practicing at the lakes. So thank you for your time.